All right, welcome back to the Ajax Racing Channel. And we got a little project today involving some tape here. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, before I walk around to the other side of the truck here to show the new car, um, well, I guess we'll just dive right in it. Let's go check it out. Here we go. So as you can see, I've already started working on it. What we have is a 53 Buick Special. And the body's pretty good. I've already ripped the old rear end out. That's a torque tube style. And it's not gonna be compatible with uh, the motor I'm putting in there, which is going to be a small block Chevy uh, 350 and a uh, either a turbo 350 or turbo 400. It's coming out of an RV I got. So basically what we're going to do here is I've got this uh, idea in my head for a wacky paint job. I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and line that up. So first I'm going to wipe this down. Got the old, old big block here. And what we need is right here. So I'm just going to wipe where I'm going to tape. So what I'm going for here is I'm going to go off the top of this fender line right here. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Just put it right on that fender line. And you could place this down a little bit. And even if it's a little wonky, I'm going to come back and fix this in later. But here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to do something I haven't seen done on one of these yet. But I'm actually going to come down to here. So what I'm gonna do is look down that fender and as I lay down my line, there we go. And I like to call this uh, my Chip Foose style because I watched Chip Foose do this when I was a kid. And that's how I kind of learned that technique of just laying it down, starting where I want to go and laying it down. So up here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and fix this line on the top now. So I can actually bring it around. And, oh, we popped her. Basically what I'm going for is I want to go right off of this line and come down. I got the other sides already finished, so I'm going to show you the back part here. And I'll come back get the extra later. But same concept, lay it down the front, pull it all the way back to where I'm going to lay it on the car. I want it right up on that body line. Just right up in there. And I'm gonna come around and do a little wrap around action. Just like that. And that's how I'm gonna two-tone this car. I wanted to show it off and what I'm gonna do like for right here 
because I want all that to be paint with this cutter right there just like that now that's our line and you can see I got a nice swooping line on there now so we're done with this part of the tape you need a thin tape like this to get your lines and it's good for wrapping around stuff if you don't want to take it off now I'm going to come back here and back it with the uh, one inch tape here and it, you could see it'd be really hard to get uh, that line with the bigger tape. This is just how I do it. Uh, on Ajax uh, ratchet paint shop. I like to put it in and to go all the way down. Just put all that on in one go. Kind of Bob Ross chip foo style. Just lay it on there. And then we're gonna look at the other side, which I've already just temporarily painted because I wanted to give a visual of what I'm going for. So. So that's basically all you're gonna do. And that's gonna allow me to two-tone this car. Cause I'm gonna do a white on top with the black bottom. And then I've got something special for the hood. But let's go ahead and pop over here. And I've kind of already hit this side. This fender's a little damaged here, but you can kind of get a good look of what I'm going for. So I'm going for like that uh, kind of 50s, 60s NASCAR. Uh, here's actually a tire I'm gonna run. I got a Ford, it's gonna be a Ford 88 back here. And uh, basically, it's just sitting in there right now. I'm waiting on the four link. But that's gonna be pretty rad, huh? So it's gonna be four link rear with coilovers. And then the front, I'm not sure what route I'm gonna go with for now. Uh, it's actually got a pretty decent front end in it. So we could start walk around real quick here. So there you go. This was a straight eight. Uh, with a, th I think a three on the tree is what it was. So it's a manual. And it had this crazy suspension in the front. Now I've heard these Buicks handle a lot better than their Chevy counterparts. Not only from the frame, as you can see, it's got the frame underneath. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but super clean California car, it's built in LA. here so you can see it's pretty clean I mean look at the rockers on this thing I know some of the other guys are probably some are well it's so clean and some are probably yeah, it's not that clean but I mean this thing has got a solid frame and you can see the chassis it's got the X chassis 
type deal going on. And the reason I had to rip the uh, torque tube out is I have to run a drive shaft. It's not worth converting uh, the other stuff there. So I've already ripped it out. This is actually a Ford Ranger rear, but this is a 7.5. I've got to go to an 8.8 uh, because it's dimensionally width wise is correct. Unless I can find a uh, proper rear Lincoln Crown Vic Caddy rear end. So, but Ranger and Explorer rear ends, cheap, easy and it will work so uh, the ranger rear may be even better so i think they're coil springs so i may have to do even less although i am going to uh if you weren't gonna run the coil over four link it'd probably be easier but the kit i'm getting has the coil overs already with it and they'll basically hook up to here you have a bracket you weld in here i'll probably triangulate it up to here to make it even stronger and then you got two arms that run back here and you'll have to weld onto the uh the diff so that's kind of where i'm at on it uh a little bit of a standstill as i wait for that i got a new gas tank in here i'll show you the inside real quick here um i do have here's the back window i have almost all of the trim I'm missing one piece around uh, either this side or that side, right around here or on the door. They call it the uh, belt or whatever, something line. Um, I'm thinking about just doing a linseed finish on the interior. Tell me what you think. Yeah. So it's pretty rough, but it's it's there. It's got the some of the stuff it's still got the radio still has some of this stuff up here so unknown what i'm gonna do in here yet um but there it is there's your three pedals right there uh, i would like to do a four on the floor with the muncie uh, four speed if i could find one but otherwise i have automatic that's already free so Looks like uh, back windows roll down. I didn't know if these ones did or not, so it's cool. Here's a, uh, some guy got the box somewhere with all the little knobs and all that stuff, it's all gone, so that'll be fun. And I got no keys, but I do have a title. So, I figure that's a win there. But anyways, here's what I was kind of getting at. I haven't seen anybody do the line like this. And then the hood, I'm gonna do, I call it a crown. I'm gonna do a deal coming down and like that. And I'm thinking a pearl white or a white with the flake and then a uh, black with the flake in there. I think that'd look really good. So. Let me know what you think on the back. Should I do a, the full deal or should I kick it down like I did there? I kind of like the kick down and we'll do that. And that's that's kind of hidden by the back bumper. We'll get into that stuff later because um, I am missing a few things. I'm missing the waterfall trim. So that's actually not going on this car. I have a neat idea for uh, that for those holes. And then the rear bumper is not for this car. It's for a different Buick, but it has a bunch of brackets, all kinds of other stuff in here. This is actually from the original rear bumper with the license plate there. Uh, but this bumper will work and it does look good and it's got a nice wrap around, um, but these brackets won't work. I have to modify and move them and I have some other stuff here. Here's the front bumper bar so i have that i have the heater core um, and i have these guys for the door seals uh, these are for the seats i believe the wraparound deal and that's for the front air dam so i have a lot uh, if you want to see the floor in here it's not bad like all in here typically i don't have my flashlight with me but all in here typically that's just trashed um, even the spare tire carrier 
right here. That is, but you can see it's not. Here's the other brackets there, I think, for one of the bumpers. Uh, she's just not rotted out. I mean, even the in between the plugs looks good. Same deal in here. Alt metal. Here's my heater core. So, let me know what you think. I'm missing latches. I'm missing all kinds of stuff still, but it's got doors, it's got windows. I need tail lights. It's got the little bullets. But I have most of the trim. I have the back window trim. I have the inside door seal trims, um, which is, that's really nice because they look nice and they're metal. I mean, they don't make shit like they used to. Look at that door seal. Just, it's metal. You know, that shit's gonna last another. I'll be dead by the time that uh, needs to be painted again. And those go in here. So, got the wing doors, with these little cool little bullet latches in there. So you got your wind windows. And some guys chop top these. I'm not gonna go that route. I actually think it doesn't need it. So, anyways, I'll show, I got a little doodle I did on my phone. I'll show you the rest of the kind of paint job idea I got going on. So you can get a visual and the stance it's kind of gonna gonna have there so anyways that's how i tape them up and do your uh hood wrap paint job take care bear dog out <laughs>